just kind of waiting to uh, get the screen up here and get our stage set up. Um, as I said, uh, my name is Paul McCarthy. I'm the uh, coordinator of the martial arts program here at UCLA. Uh, it's actually one of the largest programs in the country. We have over 20 different styles of martial arts uh, from over 10 different countries. Muay Thai is actually one of our largest programs, one of the popular programs. At one point we had about 150 students participating uh, in the program. So what we'll do as we get set up here, I'll uh, talk more, more about Muay Thai and then we can uh, see the demonstration. Wonderful. So we have some musicians from the Gokai Ensemble on the side because Muay Thai is traditionally accompanied by a special kind of music. Um, the oboe there is called Bichawa, and so the music is a Bichawa and Gongke. And it's a special kind of music. Um, one of the functions is to accompany martial arts activities. So as I was saying, um, Muay Thai uh, and UCI is very popular. Our program is under the WTBA, which is the World Thai Boxing Association, which was founded in 1968 by Ajahn Surachai Sivasut, or Ajahn Chai as he likes to be called. He's been teaching in the US and uh, around the world since then. Uh, he's taught the FBI, he's taught the Dallas Cowboys football team in the 80s for their strength and conditioning program. And in 1978, he met uh, our instructor, Ajahn Dan Kinnatan, who was one of Bruce Lee's close friends and training partners. Um, and they've been spreading Muay Thai across the world since then. Uh, co crew Tristan King here and co crew Chris Franco are both instructors with the WTBA and they're going to be demonstrating some Muay Thai. They're going to begin with our white crew from the TBA and they'll be paying respects to Ajahn Dan, Ajahn Chai, uh, Ajahn Jeff Jones, who's one of Tristan's instructors from the East Coast, and all of their Muay Thai instructors from the past. Uh, as they do this, you'll see them begin on their knees and they'll bow three times to the ground paying respects to their country, their religion, and their king. And once they stand up, you'll see them do a three-step walk in the uh, which is uh, heavily influenced by an ancient sword art called Krabi Krabong, which is a predecessor of Muay Thai and walk around martial arts. So, and then we'll get to see some more Muay Thai after the walk. So I'll let them start now. <laughs>
round of applause. Hey, big respects, so let's get into the Muay Thai. Uh, I'm going to start off warming up a little bit, getting their bodies ready, just doing some shadow boxing. As we go through these different training methods, you notice the way their bodies move differently from working on their own. They have to come up with imaginary opponents, be creative with the techniques they use, defensive and offensive. When we get into the pads, then we start looking at more focused techniques, uh, looking at power and um, accuracy. And then when we get to the pads to the internal spiral, we have a different kind of thing in there as well. As you can see, they're using their fists, elbows, knees, and kicks. And that's why Muay Thai is known as the heart of eight limbs. Tristan work on the traditional Thai pads. It's going to allow for a lot more power, bigger pads, thicker pads. You ever see some kicks in there? Famous Thai round kicks, one of the most powerful kicks in martial arts. There's been lots of studies on it. We're going to start off by just doing some simple, simple four counts. Um, we've got 12 in the TBA. They're going to go through seven of those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's give uh, Chris a chance to lead and see how Tristan can help.
Thank you very much. Thank you. 